How is he? Bad. Right side of his chest smashed. Doc thinks he can patch him up, but he's optimistic. You know, we didn't want to tell the rest of the men how bad it was. We need him. We need the idea of him. Do you agree? Of course I agree. He's the one man here who's not replaceable. At it again! You said once you could lick me. <laughs> you could now. I wouldn't want to, Jim. You're still a good man. You all right, Colonel? Yeah. How was I with it? What are they waiting for? Three days pandemonium, then three days quiet, and then the whole thing all over again. Wear us down. If he can break us, he'll have an army intact. March across Texas. Every day does give Houston more time. Santa Ana won't wait long. He might be sending for heavier cannon. Colonel, I'd be pleased if you'd assume complete command. No, Jim. I've been meaning to say, I, I should have said it before, I consider it an honor serving under you. Thanks. You mind if I say that it's been interesting watching you grow? You're a pretty tall man now, Will. Ben Evanson. Ben? What's the answer? Houston's in the North, Jim, recruiting. His aide told me he didn't have a force fit to send. All right. Take care of yourself. Fannin's coming. Perhaps. Think he'll be able to get through to us. Not if he just tries to walk in, be cut to pieces. If he waits till Santa Ana attacks. Maybe. I'll go back now. Give me a give me a hand, will you? Thanks. I can make it. No, Jim, let me help you. Yeah. No need them seeing. Are, the time seems to have gotten all pushed together. I... I thought you might let me speak to your uncle. Jeff, I've been unfair. I like you so much. I'd like to be with you. We can laugh together. At least we could. And I knew. I could see it when you looked at me. But I didn't think it would last. It's my fault, Jeff. I didn't want to hurt you. I couldn't bring myself to. And now I have hurt you. You couldn't hurt me, Consuelo. I just... I just feel empty. Oh, Jeff. Get 
through? I got through all right, but Fannin's not coming. Jim, will you get off of your feet? Bannon isn't coming. No, Jim. Why? He started. His equipment broke down. Vance Guard was taken by Mexican patrols. He's unable to move. What's Travis going to do? He's calling all the men together. He's putting it up to them. Walk me out, will you? I shouldn't, Jim. Now it started to rain. What difference? To tell you, we have no more hope for reinforcement. Colonel Fannin can't reach us. No doubt at this moment, Santa Ana is mounting an assault in force. The outcome of that assault, you can easily guess. They outnumber us 30 to 1. There are three courses open to you. You can try and fight your way out through their cavalry. Probably be cut to pieces before you've gone a mile. Your second choice is to surrender. Anyone may do so who chooses to. You have my permission. But remember that when you surrender, you free an army of thousands of men to make war on the rest of Texas. Your third alternative is to stay here and fight. We can kill them as they charge us, kill them as they scale our walls, kill them as they put the bayonet to us. Oh, we'll all die, I have no doubt of that. The Deguelo will be sounded. But what we do here can so disorganize Santa Ana that he won't be able to march for weeks on Sam Houston. I've drawn a line in the dirt. Any of you who care to stay with us, please step over that line. Thank you, men. Parson, do you have anything to say? Well, kind sir, we're here doing what we think is right. Give us a little encouragement, if you please, sir. Amen. Amen. chance. Personal. Mm. I've written to Sam Houston, told him about the decision of the men. I think that's something other Texans will want to know about. Scouts report they're building ladders, scaling ladders. There was an all-night conference in Santa Ana's tent. Attack in the morning, probably. Would you mind if we sent Jeff with that? Good idea. Tell him to meet me at the west gate. Let me help you. No, no. Get the jet bill. Jeb.
Yes, sir. This is for General Houston. Colonel Bowie wants to see you at the West Gate right away. But, sir, I... Right away, Jeb. Yes, sir. You all right, Mr. Bowie? Yeah, yeah. You've got to go out, Jeb. Get as far as you can while it's dark. Don't try to stretch it. Find a place and hide. In the morning... But, sir... In the morning, after the first battle, there should be lots of riderless horses. Wait until you can get one. It isn't fair. I want to cross the line with the rest of them. I know. Jeb, this is the toughest job we've got. We figure you can handle it. This is for you. Read it afterwards. Yes, sir. Ben? Yes, sir. All right to go out now. Wait, sir. It's all right now, sir. All right, Jeb. Get going. I don't know how to save, Mr. Boyd. Don't try. Good luck. Okay, there they will. Keep praying, Parson. 